Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today we're gonna check out one of the weirdest shaped drones I have seen in a while. The Astro RC, oh my god, Shuttle V2. Comes nicely wrapped, let's open it. Wow, this plastic is super strong. And just look at the madness going on on this drone. The front looks kind of normal, you have the motors pointing up, but the back motors are pointing down. You also get an accessory bag with a Velcro Astro RC patch for your backpack. An extra set of propellers, these are HQ 3x3x3, micro USB 2A cable, extra branded battery strap, a spare battery pad, DJI 6 pin connector, an extra pigtail antenna, a few super short zip ties, and a few 3D printed parts with the supports still attached. And to achieve this shape the drone has two frames one is y shaped at the bottom four millimeter carbon it has a lot of standoffs and it connects to the frame on the top which is again less y shaped but still kind of triangular and basically this doubles the amount of carbon on this drone so i believe it's not gonna be a light one camera assembly is made of some kind of plastic it is soft mounted so whatever camera you put in here will not have jello probably we're gonna check it later but you can see also the vtx is soft mounted and all of the other plastic parts are 3d printed tpu even the side guard the weight of this drone like you see it with the 4 light and without battery is 178 grams it's a lot, it's heavier than many drones I have seen at 3 inches with the O4 Pro system which is uh, more than 20 grams heavier than this camera. This camera is 8 grams so the weight of the drone, only motors and uh, electronic without camera is 170 grams, something like that if you want to build it. From what I have seen online this drone comes in three versions, you can get the frame only, the analog bind and fly or the O4 light bind and fly. There is no O4 Pro version, despite the camera mount having the holes required for the O4 Pro. And also you can see there is a ton of space inside here. So I believe this drone was made initially for the O4 Pro and then they noticed it was above 250 grams and they stopped. From what I've seen in the global market, they only sell this version with 1404, 4500 kV and 3-inch propellers 4S with the xt 30 But on the product spec sheet, they also list two other versions with 3.6 inches propellers. One is 4S, one is 6S and it even has an xt 60 connector. This frame will also fit 3.6 inches propellers, just move the motors from here to here. You can see it has three holes to accommodate it. The drone I have has a F4 flight controller with 40 amps ESCs and also you can notice this is the flight controller and above there is another board. And this hosts a few LEDs, the receiver connection points because the receiver is at the top, it's soldered directly on this board and it also has a little buzzer. These are the antenna mounts. Initially I thought they were angled the wrong direction because when the drone falls you are in the blind spot but boom, they pop up and this is very nice. And finally it's time to fly. I'm gonna use first a 720 milliamps 4S HV which is light enough for this drone to be sub 250 but it kind of doesn't count because it's using the 4 light and then 850 4S. They suggest between 850 and a 1100. I don't have the 1100 so I'm gonna use these two batteries. This is kind of a more powerful drone and it's not aimed at sub 250. I don't know why they didn't put the O4 Pro. Maybe it was too heavy at that point and it wasn't flying good enough. Let's try. Okay. It feels uh, lighter than it is. This is uh, angle mode. Let's go acro. Maybe it's, uh, it's quite stable. Uh, actually, maybe it has uh, a little bit uh, of wobble when coming down. Yeah, maybe a little bit of wobble, but um, I didn't know what to expect with this uh, very weird uh, propeller placement. But it sounds clean, it's fast, it also pulls a lot of juice when you go fast. This is the OSD as uh, left by the factory. It feels a little bit uh, rubbery when you do the, <laughs> the maneuvers. 
I don't know how to describe it, if not rubbery, like... I don't know. It's... you cannot probably see it from the video feed, but... Uh, it kind of... Uh, has some resistance. But, yeah. I was expecting words, probably, seeing the weird uh, propeller placement. And it's not too bad. Like, if you fly sustained, it, uh, it's kind of smooth, and it's kind of very straight on rails. But when the throttle is low, it kind of uh, wobbles slightly. It's not anything like anti-gravity, but... Yeah, you can see it has uh, oscilla a very, very low frequency oscillation. So the tuning is kind of fine, it's possible, but uh, I wish it was... Uh, what? It was kind of time to land anyways. Maybe we had another 30 seconds, but it's not the most efficient drone I've ever seen. You will be able to do 2.5 minutes if you really push it with this battery, 3, 4 if you push it a little bit less, but... It's a heavier drone, it needs a little bit bigger batteries. Let's try with 850 milliamps. You can see how cool the LEDs look at the front and at the back. Okay. So, with this battery, feels maybe better, seems to be straighter. Yeah, less wobble, less vibrations. It's not bad, but when it comes down, uh, you can see it has uh, the minimal amount of wobble, but it, it does feel better with this battery, for sure. It feels like a, a little toothpick. It doesn't fly bad at all, like... Uh, when you have the throttle low, it kind of wobbles a little bit. Otherwise, it's... Uh, it's better than I anticipated. You see, maybe a little bit of prop wash. Of course, it's a very weird uh, shape of drone. The input from the back is different from the input from the front because uh, the, the motors are oriented differently and also the propellers, they act differently somehow, somewhat because uh, they have different surfaces exposed to the, to the air. Like, they are on the same uh, horizontal plane, the propellers, but the motors are not. So it's kind of a weird drone, uh, like a uh, normal toothpick usually feels better if it's well tuned. It's not uh, too shabby, but uh, yeah. Oh, where are the chicken? Where the hell are the chicken? I believe they are gonna be back here as usual, but I don't know if this camera can go back there. Uh, they are all hiding under the bushes, I believe. Let me let me check around a little bit. Oh, 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 la, 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 latency, the latency sucks. Okay, we flew for two minutes and 30. Look at the, that chicken. Okay. Man, the chicken have EMP'd my drone, I am sure. They have installed some kind of jammer so I don't go disturb them. <laughs> because if I go back there, the latency is really, really high. This is not O4 Pro, I forget about it. This is the O4 Lite and uh, it doesn't have the same uh, signal strength. Okay, they are going back in the chicken coop. Okay. So, not chicken chase with this drone today, I'm sorry. I would... oh my god. Yeah, it, it flies nice for most of the time, but sometimes it's uh, not very precise. When you're coming down and recovering, you see, it has some kind of uh, prop wash. Like, it's not one of the worst drones I've flown with uh, by far. Like, it's uh, a nice flying drone, but... Uh, it's not perfect, it's not polished. And a normal toothpick will fly better, be lighter. So I feel like this drone has a ton of compromises with very few uh, improvements. Like the only improvement I see is that you don't have the propellers in view.
The 3.5 inch uh, version 6S XT60 is better because uh, at that point it's gonna be kind of uh, a light drone in that category. It will be a straight rocket. The camera is soft mounted, but I don't see the bind and fly version of that. So maybe you get it from China or maybe you build it yourself with big motors, 6S, a lot of power and you have a little rocket. Maybe I need to try that. Let me know in the comments if I should try. 5.30 with the flight we did before. And it's time for my final opinion on this Astro RC Shuttle V2. I kind of have mixed feelings because on one side looks incredible, I love when companies experiment. It also flies better than I anticipated, it just needs a little bit better tuning at low end. When you have the throttle low it kind of oscillates a little bit and if you do maneuvers you can feel it. But otherwise it's a nice drone, sounds super clean, the frame is very sturdy, so I feel like this can fly much better than they tuned it for. I feel like at least with this blend of electronics it doesn't make 100% sense because you can go with a sub 250 drone like the Deep Space Seeker 3 and it's gonna be way better, flies better, it's lighter, it has the O4 Pro, like no, it has the GPS, like there is no competition. I have to consider this drone in an ecosystem of other products out there and it doesn't make sense. Maybe the 6S 3.6 version of this drone makes much more sense because you have a very compact drone which has a crazy amount of power, it's soft mounted and you don't care about carrying the O4 Pro system. It's a shame they are not selling it on uh, global stores, they have it in China, but if you buy the frame and you build it, maybe it's cool. Let me know in the comments if I should try with components I find, because I feel like that's gonna be a very interesting drone, a little pocketable rocket to, to just go very fast, I'm gonna put a GPS, I see this drone much better in that configuration, with a good tune. And that's all for today, as always remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video, let me know really what do you think about this drone, if you wanna buy something check out the links in the description below, because clicking on them you help my channel a lot and also many times you find discounts. Thank you so much, stay safe and happy flying, bye!